Magic fans should be so excited about Jonathan Isaac's return. Not even just Magic fans. If you're an NBA fan in general, you should be excited about this man's return because let's talk about him. It's been two full seasons since Jonathan Isaac has played, but this man was on the rise. Back in 2020, during the bubble, he tore his ACL, which was so sad. Because it's been so long since he's played, people have definitely forgotten how good he was and maybe even forgotten that he was in the NBA. I think he also had injured his knee somewhat back in January of that year, and then he came back during the bubble. Correct me if I'm wrong. But when he was playing the first... 30 games of the season or whatever he played he was my top candidate for defensive play of the year and a lot of people's top candidate like this man was locked down on defense like a lockdown defender and like i said i thought he was the defensive player of the year at the moment or at least a top three candidate elite defender top tier defender and his offense was coming along like things were starting to go together for jonathan isaac and it was looking bright but this is why magic fans should be so excited because like i said in a bunch of videos this year that i made the Magic are putting it together. They have so much talent. The problem is they've had so many injuries over the past few years. Like, if it's not one person, it's the next. But now they're fully healthy and right. They've gotten some top-tier talent in that time, too. They got Franz Wagner, Paolo, you got Bull Bull. So they were able to even add more talent to that roster. They had a six-game winning streak this year. They're putting it together. They play well together. Markel Fultz is healthy. Shout out to him. And now you add a player who can be a defensive player of the year not just a good defender, a defensive player of the year to that roster that's gelling so well, that has so much young talent, and he's also on the same timeline. That is something that NBA fans should be excited about, Magic fans should be excited about, and other teams maybe should be a little bit concerned about. <laughs> Relax, I'm not saying they're championship contenders just because he's back right now, but I'm just saying like, everything is starting to click for them. Now, I obviously do not expect him to come back his first game and be a defensive player of the year candidate. I don't even expect that maybe in the first 30 games. You know, like when you tear your ACL, when you have a major injury, even though he's been out for so long and he has obviously rehabbed for a while, it still takes time to get your legs under you. Because everybody wants to talk about Clay Thompson is washed, da 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 all this. And I'm like, Clay Thompson just had two catastrophic injuries. Like, give him some time. And then in the month of January, he's been averaging like what? 30 on like 46% from three. So shout out to Clay for doing that. Everybody's body is different. Everybody responds differently. Maybe he'll come back and be more the way Jonathan Isaac was prior to injury, faster than Clay was. But like, it takes time. But the talent, the skill is there. His IQ is there. And once he gets his legs under him, he could be that Defensive Player of the Year candidate once again. Cause he's only 25. And like I said, the Magic are just putting it together. I will be watching closely tonight to see his debut, and I'm really excited for the Magic. Could the Magic make the playoffs next year? Maybe.